guys, welcome back to another episode of the Service Series, um, special edition Service Series with the Sport V. I'm gonna be showing you today how to disassemble or take apart the clutch, the actual dog clutch, dog clutch. Um, this is all Mercury gears. It is really simple. There, you really don't need don't need any tools other than maybe just a little magnet that which I have here. Um, it's very simple. A reason why you would want to disassemble this part. Customers call me or they they say post out there on Facebook or or something like that. They say, hey, my forward it it's slipping or it goes you engage in forward and it has a delay of one or two seconds and then it engages really hard well this will help you diagnose that um, like i said this is a, the the actual clutch assembly and um, we are going to what the way this operates this is the shift fork that you have this is attached to your um, to your handle with all the shift and um, arm and everything but this is what's happening inside every time that you shift the handle back and forth there's these two plates that when you shift it it pushes it it actually pushes the middle upwards or downwards when then which then it engages the top or bottom gear um two things that could happen when you have that delay or that um, hesitation on your forward or could be a reverse as well if I don't know if you guys can see this part right here how it's wearing this and that's normal wear that normally happens um, depending on how much you use it, it it could happen anywhere between I don't know a hundred hours 200 hours it's it's really really hard to say when when that happens but that's that's one of the symptoms and that could be one of the one of the um, the things are, are going to start going bad if you can if you notice so this is the part that's going to be pushing upwards for your um, forward gear um, I'll show you the back this is the 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 one that goes on the top so you can see the wear on this it's pretty much it's pretty worn when you look at the bottom which is the one for the reverse it's barely there why is that because we use forward more a lot more than just uh than reverse but um so that's one thing this part this part by itself it comes apart from the um the shift shaft so you can replace this part by itself now how to take this apart there is there is uh, several pieces but the main ones are obviously the two gears and the actual clutch itself in here this this part in the middle it goes up and down and that's the actual clutch itself from mercury um, so what do we want to do to take this apart there is a retaining ring and um, and a couple keepers in here so what you want to do you want to grab this is obviously you can spin this you can spin this the shaft is what you want to put on a vise or something to hold it and it, it, it will not spin what you want to do is just grab onto this this gear and then just push it down can you see how that clutch is going up and down this is engaging on the top and this is the bottom is free and the top is engaged now stays down and the bottom is engaged the top is free okay so we're gonna push down that keeps that makes uh releases this keeper in here push the keeper down let me grab that So push the keeper down. One thing I forgot to mention, you you probably will need a, a, a flat screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and then just push that keeper to release it. All right. I don't know if you can get the camera a little closer right here. So this is what I'm talking about. This 
the the keeper and the little the retaining ring and the little keepers okay this is where the magnet comes in handy because you can take one out and take the other one out okay once you have that out everything comes apart just pull it up this is the keeper that I was telling you about I'm just gonna line them up all in here here's the the top gear the actual clutch I was telling you about bottom gear and the clutch shaft now let's talk about this right here these two gears are the ex exactly the same so if you just call Travis a backwater performance and want to order a gear it doesn't matter there is no they're they're not directional so there's a the there's some gears that are like um, updated this brass part is actually part of the gear okay so if you notice that if you have one of these gears and you order a new one and um, and this is not brass it's actually part of the gear it's okay it's nothing that is gonna get it's not a different gear it's the same just updated or newer um, so these two gears are the same the actual clutch which uh, also Travis will have the part number and the clutch shaft now in the event that you have your Sport V that is hesitating to go forward or you engage it and it takes two seconds three seconds to engage and then all of a sudden it engages or you have to give it gas for it to engage what happens if you have the oil level right and everything after you've done all the adjustments on the on your uh, on your shift cable your shift trigger and everything after you've exhausted all those um, troubleshooting steps and you have taken all this apart what happens is that you have these grooves in here on this on this clutch you can tell the grooves in here they get worn and they don't engage in this on this part they they what 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 they do they're supposed to be made so they stick onto that part and then it grabs that combined with the clutch shaft you see how it doesn't go up and down but it actually spins when you engage it onto forward the the torque from the gear it is spinning all the time so it is actually acting like a screw the more throttle you give it the harder it's going to engage on the gear that's why it will never spin it, it's not going to well it will spin but not because this is bad not because it's not actuating this part is going uh, the the harder you push on the gas the harder it's going to engage on the gear same for the reverse the harder you press on the gas the harder is going to go against that gear and the harder is going to be on your um, um the engagement um that's how these things this thing works in the event that you don't want to replace the gears right now or you just want to go a different route if you have the hesitation in forward but not in reverse reverse is, is engaging just fine what you do and you have an option but this is not a very good option you can just swap, swap the gears this will become the, the the bottom gear this will, will become the top gear and like that what that's going to do just remember what that's going to have what's going to happen is that now your forward is going to engage just fine but you're going to have that hesitation or some of that hesitation in reverse um, eventually you're going to have to replace it and open it up again and what now do all that stuff again so everything that you've done to get to this point you are going to have to do it again uh, so my advice is just call travis at backwater performance get the parts do it right the first time and then just you'll have many many hours the nice thing about this is that you can choose what you want to replace i would advise to replace the whole clutch assembly just to make sure that everything is good and you're not going to have to take it apart again and 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 do it all over um, but that's it these are all the parts that come in the actual clutch assembly 
these two little bearings do come apart like that so this right here is the whole assembly that I had sitting up here it's this if you call Travis and order him hey I, I need the gears for the clutch this is where you're gonna this is where you're gonna get I need the actual clutch mercury clutch this is what you're gonna get I need the um, I call them the pancake bearings I forgot the exact name of these things um, the keeper retaining ring and clutch shaft now to put it let's say you just got your new ones to put it back together um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this clutch um, here's the the wear I'll show you guys the wear on this part right here this is where the um, little roller bearings are riding the wear is perfectly even that's that's how you want it to be now to put it back together you put um, this is just to hold it and I won't damage the splines so just to put it back together you're gonna have two springs these springs what they do they are just they act like um, kind of like a pressure so it, it helps the clutch go up and down that's it that um, when you get it brand new and you put them back, back together if you can have then just um, some grease handy and then spread it on this surface of the bearing and on this surface and maybe some on the roller bearings <clears throat> that's it now we're gonna get the retaining ring like I said just push it. it it'll help if you spin it if you give it a little spin it'll come down fat um, easier these are a little tricky because hands are all greasy and whatnot and they keep on uh, sliding up your fingers okay put, install the keepers and push it upwards a little bit they engage and that's it you have your clutch back together all right thanks for watching um, and I will see you guys next time.